Hey gang, Nick with Red Ox Insurance Agency here, and I wanted to talk to you today about DLT compliance, uh, specifically creating a DLT compliance binder to keep in your truck at all times. So what I've put together is a list of items that you're going to need, like a binder checklist. What I recommend you doing is get a three ring binder, get some protective sleeve covers for each sheet, and add these items into that binder and keep it in your cab at all times. Okay, I got 13 things here. And the first is your certificate of insurance. You're going to want to put that in your binder. The second is your truck and trailer registration. The third thing you're going to want to put in there is your IFTA license for the current year. You're going to want to put in your ELD instruction sheet. You're also going to want to put in a minimum of eight days worth of paper logs and the FMCSA requires that just in case your ELD were to malfunction. You're also going to put your annual safety inspection report in there, your driver's CDL, your driver's medical certificate, a copy of your lease agreement if applicable. And you're going to want to put your state permits in there. Some states, a handful of states, have several you know, different permits that you're required to have to travel through that state. Um, hazmat permits, if applicable. And then your current load paperwork, you know, your bill of lading. And last but not least, your certificate of authority. That's not required, but it is recommended. So, if you would like me to send you a copy of this, if you didn't write it down, I'm happy to send this to you. Just shoot me an email, nick at Red Ox Insurance, and just simply say, please send me the DOT Compliance Binder Checklist, and I'll just email you over the PDF. Happy to do it. And one thing I just wanted to mention when it comes to DOT inspections, you know, it's going to be nice for that DOT, DOT inspector if you have everything in one nice binder, make sure you're organized. It just makes you look a lot better. So you don't want to give these DOT inspectors, inspectors any reason to start picking things apart. So if you're squared away, have all your paperwork squared away, treat them with respect. I know it's a pain in the butt for you to get pulled over to go through an inspection, but you know, cause you got a load to deliver. You have a time limit that you're trying to meet and this is a disruption, but it's also a disruption for that officer as well. So if you don't have an attitude towards he or she, they most likely won't have an attitude towards you and will hopefully just let you get through, let you get through as quickly as possible so you can get that freight delivered. Any questions, feel free to give me a call, 502-510-3030. If you like this, vi uh, this video, give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have any suggestions for any videos that you want me to do in the future, please let me know that as well. I'll be happy to do the research, put together a video, and help as many folks out as I can. Have a great day.